So I know things have been, um, let's, let me try to think of the right word here. All right, here it is. Very, very easy, as in we just blow up everything in three seconds. We are slowly approaching the point where we will not be able to just blow up everything in three seconds and auto win. Yeah, this game this is actually harder than I keep saying it is. Well, keep demonstrating. But you know what I mean. Anyway, hello everyone. Welcome back to more Pokemon Stadium. I'm just going to get right into it. We're doing Prime Cup. Oh boy. Oh gosh. You know, I, I, when I think about Prime Cup, I think about Prime Cup Master Ball and just how terrible of a time I had with it the first time. But right now, we're not at that point. We're at the easy part. So we're going to go right into it. We have to do it four times. And since it's our first time going into Prime Cup, let's look at the rules. Anything can enter, including Mew. It's still Enter Six, Spring 3. No level restrictions. Now, this is the big thing that separates this from Poke Cup and just about everything else. By default, all rentals will be level 100. But if you're bringing your own Mons, every opponent will be equal to the level of your highest team member. So, for example, if you have five level 50s and a level 55, every one of your opponents will be level 55. But if you're using rentals, everything will be level 100 because by default, all rentals are level 100. This is the same thing with Gym Leader Castle. I don't think I brought that up when we went to Gym Leader Castle. But yeah, it's the same thing in Gym Leader Castle. Otherwise, everything else is still the same. We have to get perfect wins in order to get continues. And don't blow up your Osmon or you lose. Similar to Poke Cup, I have registered teams. And yeah, we have we are seeing Dunk Trio a lot here. There is a lot of Dunk Trio and Kadabra. Because of course, Kadabra is one of the best mons in the game, naturally. Like, like, for, like, look at this stat for a second. Psychic would recover. Because of course, Executor is also a thing. He also has Psychic. But we won't be using this team for a while. We're using this team, which has two electric types. I don't know what the guide was thinking with this one, but whatever, let's go for it. All right, our first opponent is the cue ball. And his team has <laughs> a Magikarp. I love how all his team members' names are just the lowercase. All right, so right away, I see a lot of water weak mons. Two of them, actually. Do you have... Oh my god, now it's actually even worse. Poliwhirl just auto-wins this battle. Because if he brings Paris, we can Ice Beam it. And then we Surf the Fire type. So we're going to leave Poliwhirl. Uh, do we have Rock Slide? We have Fisher! <laughs> I am not using Fisher! We don't have Thunder. We have Thunderbolt. We'll take Abra for the Weedle. And we'll take Weeping Bell in case Magikarp comes so we can just blow it up. Growlithe lead. Alright, goodbye Growlithe, you're not going to last long. Also, Amnesia is actually a really good move in this game. Because special is one stat. And it raises your special stat by two. So you could literally sit there against a special attacker, boost up your special stat, and just run house with any special attacks you have. Unfortunately, we won't probably need that because we're overpowered as hell. Magic Herb! <laughs> I was hoping we'd see a match. Wait, you have Psychic too? What the hell? This thing is like a perfect set. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna kill. Nope. Come on, use. Ah, I was hoping you would use Splash. Nothing. This did literally zero. All right, goodbye, Magikarp. We'll probably never see you again after this. Goodbye, Magikarp. <laughs> I'm at least glad we got to see one Magikarp in this playthrough. And Charmander. 
Well, unfortunately, Charmander is weak to fire, so I weak to water, so he's screwed. Because we have Stab Surf. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I honestly don't feel bad for the Charizard fans out there. Not in the slightest. Charizard is overrated. I mean, I'm not even going to say anything. I know we're probably going to sweep the hell out of this place very easily, because this is the start. But everything being level 100 does mean that things that would normally die at level 50 won't die immediately here. What the hell is this? <laughs> okay, so this is Electric Types Run House Team. We're probably going to take... What? Wait, what does Abra have? Why are you a body slam? What? Holy crap, your special is high. One, six, seven. Okay, Voltorb's special is higher and he's faster than Pikachu. So we'll take Voltorb, we'll take Abra, and I really don't have anything for Drowsy, so I'll take Diglett. Grim Act 3. <laughs> oh god, I love these nicknames. Alright, let's T-Bolt. See how much it does. Uh, wow, I did a lot. Acid armor? Why would you use a move that increases your defense against a special attacker? I would never use takedown with a Voltorb. Ever. Whatever, get crit. He went on two! And he's just gonna use acid armor! Yo, even at plus four, I might be able to kill it to take down. I know I literally just said I wouldn't use take down with a Voltor, but yo, I wanna do it for the memes. He has two HP. Yeah! <laughs> two HP! And because this is Gen 1, you don't take recoil if you kill something. Drowse Act 2! I don't know why the, these mods have these nicknames, but I'm just gonna T-Wave. Come on, please. POUND! Alright. I'm gonna uh, switch to Diglett. I am not going to use Fisher. Okay, I might try it once. I might try it once. Disable. Um. Oh come on! No, I can't. No, I have to go for it. Also, that came out of its nose. That's kind of weird. All right, let's go for it. Come on, hit. Ah! Uh oh! It has an actual move. Okay, yeah, that's scary. We're we're fuck the memes. We're attacking. I'm sorry. I I can't. I can't memes. I love how he has never gotten full parrot once. Also, once again, that came out of its nose. It's very weird. Goodbye. Yo, know, if I didn't mean continues, I would definitely have tried to memes him. But that vi that confusion did way too much damage. Almond Act 5. I am not staying in. Goodbye. Because he's just going to hit me with a water move. Alright, Voltorb. All you gotta do is... Water gun! What's this? There, it's, a hit. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of nice to get to see these dinky animations because eventually it's just going to be nothing but thunderbolts and psychics everywhere. 
I mean, then again, that's what we're doing. We're basically only using Thunderbolt. He's dead! I got a crit! <laughs> like... Alright, yeah. I didn't make a Lord Helix reference, but still. Yeah, I may be using nothing but Psychics and Earthquakes and Thunderbolts, but... Eventually, we'll be seeing nothing but that from the opponent, too. So get don't get used to these weak moves. Eventually, we'll be getting into the real fun stuff. Like Hyper Beam. Oh, it's this guy! Alright, this team is hilariously dumb. What the hell is that nickname? Pekang? Pekang? And then it's Atata. Okay. So I'm thinking here. <coughs> we lead Abra because he has two fighting weak two psychic weak mons. We could take Polyworld because he also has psychic. And then on the off chance Pikachu comes, we have Diglett. This guy's gimmick is literally focus energy. But more often than not, he'll barely have an opportunity to do much else outside of that. So let's go. Cab. <laughs> All right, Kabuto lead. Watch your spam psychic. We literally have no reason to not use anything else. I one shot it. <laughs> oh my gosh! I love how Abra is so broken. Cubon. Cubon. I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's just spam Psychic and we win. What now? Come on, Amber. Ah! Focus energy. You know, he only has 20 HP. Body slam, go! <laughs> Animation. That was really funny. Chop. He's dead. There is no chance for you. You are weak to psychic. And Abra has a ton of special. It's over. Goodbye. Well, that was free. Use other team members. All right. Now, now it's time for another member of the Resident Future Pain the Ass list. The fucking gambler. He has a Mamgar. Now, you're going to look at this team and probably assume he's not very intimidating. Do not assume the gambler is not a threat, because later he is a threat. Even right now, his entire strategy is literally to use one-hit KO moves to try to kill you. But those are 30% accurate. And in this game, one-hit KO moves are based off speed. If you're slowing the opponent, the move will literally always fail. So that's why later, he starts using tactics to make sure he's faster than you. Right now, he doesn't have those tactics. He's basically just gonna try and blast you with moves that'll kill you instantly, but fail. So, half his team is weak to electric, so I'm gonna take Voltorb, we're going to take Poliwhirl for the do, the do geo, and the Ranito Male. <laughs> God, these names. And we'll take Abra because Abra is ridiculously fast. Basically, you want fast mons for this one. Well, Poliwhirl's not very fast, but you know. Dingo! <laughs> Alright, well, unfortunately for you, Dingo, you're not going to sur- oh, 
He brought Geodude, didn't he? Yep, he brought the dude Geo. So this will do nothing. Alright, well, Polyroll, come on. Fortunately, Polyroll outspeeds Geodude. Geodude's stupidly slow. Alright, here it comes. What? What? Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe you, because in Poke Cup, I'm pretty sure there's a trainer who also uses metronome strats, primarily. I remember the gambler being Mr. I love to use one-hit KO moves, not metronome. Well, not like it matters. The dude Geo is dead. Okay, I guess he's also a metronome user. If I remember correctly, it's the medium in Poke Cup. Who uses metronome strats? Alright, we're switching back to Voltorb. You can't one hit KO me, no matter what. My whole team is faster than his. And he doesn't have any moves that paralyze at this point, if I remember correctly from checking Serbi that one time. Um! Oh no! He actually does have a move! Please! Oh no! Oh, he missed. Okay, get power or crit. Please. Thank you, Voltorb. Okay, so I was right. He does have one hit KO moves. All right, who's last? Big Crab. This thing will never possibly outspeed me. But he does have guillotine. Pretty sure the Krabby line is the only set of mods in Generation 1 that learned guillotine at all. Not like it matters. <laughs> well, that was almost bad. I didn't even think he would try and outspeed me and then go for the immediate attack. That was kind of intimidating towards the end. But we're already halfway through. I mean, that last battle was a little touch and go, but everything else was really straightforward. So we're going to end it there. And next time, we are going to go through the second half of Prime Cup, which I don't think is that bad. I mean, we're still at the start. It's going to get worse, naturally, but right now... Yeah, we're in a safe position. So I'll see you then.